Hi, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath. In this video, we're going to talk about the CDSA test. CDSA stands for Comprehensive Digestive Stool Analysis. So if you're someone that has IBS symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, bloating, gas, the CDSA test can help you identify the underlying cause, whether this is a parasite infection, bacterial infection, or just not enough good bacteria or good levels of digestive enzymes. If you're someone that has an autoimmune condition, the gut function or leaky gut is often an underlying cause, and the CDSA test can help you optimize your digestion. If you have skin problems or mood changes, these can be caused by an imbalance between the good and the bad bacteria, leaky gut, or some sort of other inflammatory marker, and the CDSA test can help you identify exactly what's going on. If you're an athlete, or someone is just looking to reach their optimal health, then optimizing your digestion function, absorption of nutrients and elimination of toxins is part of optimizing your overall health and performance. Let's have a look at an example of a CDSA test and you'll understand a lot more how this test can help you. Here is an example of the complete digestive stool analysis test or CDSA test. This is a copy of an Australian version of the test but if you're in Europe or the US, I use Doctors Data or Genova for the testing, and they test virtually the same markers, the test results will just look a little bit different. So to start off, we just look at the basic macroscopic description. That's just looking for if there's any blood in the stool or mucus. In this case, there is. So we look at some of the other markers further down to see why that might be happening. The test comes with a full description of treatments, recommendation of diet, but also at Planet Naturopath, you'll be getting a written report and focusing on the exact steps that you need to be doing. Similar to the microscopic description, it's just getting to see if there's any uh, white blood cells for inflammation or red blood cells or any food remnants, which means you may not be digesting the food very well. As we get further down the test, um, we, we get some names like chymotrypsin, short chain fatty acids. All these are explained what they, what they mean, but you'll also be explained during the consultation what it means for your body and for your digestion. Pancreatic enzymes help with the digestion in the small intestine. And the absorption marker, this is the fat absorption. So if someone's not absorbing fat, they're going to have trouble digesting fat soluble vitamins. They're going to get symptoms like diarrhea or fat in the stool. And fat is, you know, if you're not digesting fat, it's a big problem because fat is very important for so many functions in the body. Short chain fatty acids are the food for the beneficial bacteria. Certain diets can deplete these levels. Butyrate is one of the short chain fatty acids, along with acetate, propionate. Beta glucuronidase measures phase two liver detoxification. So if you have high levels there, that can mean poor breakdown of the phase two detoxification process. That can lead to high levels of estrogen getting reabsorbed back into the system, for example. The inflammation markers, transglutaminase, it's not a specific test for celiac disease, but if you have a positive result like this, you would want to rule out celiac disease as a problem, but definitely a client with this result would be having an inflammatory reaction to gluten. Other inflammatory markers include azonophil protein X and calprotectin. So there's a positive result here. So this is associated with more serious digestion problems like inflammatory bowel disease, which is Crohn's ulcerative colitis. It was only last year I had a client who came to see me for the first time, but she had 15 years of diarrhea and been to doctors, gastroenterologists, and she'd actually never been tested for calprotectin, and her levels were through the roof. So for 15 years, she had inflammatory bowel disease without it being diagnosed. That's the advantage in these types of tests, is you can get a really accurate idea of the underlying cause of your digestion or health problems. Some of the tumor and ulcer markers, the M2 pyruvate kinase, that can be elevated 
even before a tumor can be uh, diagnosed with a normal colonoscopy. So it's a good screening tool. Helicobacter pylori is a bacterial infection of the stomach. And that a positive result there can lead to so many other symptoms other than just digestion symptoms. So different treatment recommendations are listed here. At Planet Naturopath, you'll be given a specific treatment protocol that won't include antibiotics to eliminate the helicobacter. We also measure the levels of beneficial bacteria. So sometimes people can have no pathogens, but just not enough of the beneficial bacteria. And that is going to cause a lot of digestion symptoms, but also other issues like skin, uh, mood issues. So assessing your levels of beneficial bacteria is important. We measure pathogenic bacteria and parasites. And if there's an overgrowth, they'll be listed further down in more detail what the other bacteria is about. The test measures for yeast infections. And there's a positive result on parasites here. So antibiotic treatments are also listed here. This is just talking about all the different treatment strategies, but we'll give you a specific treatment strategy for you. So they list all the different antibiotic sensitivities. At Planet Naturopath, we don't use antibiotics, just antimicrobial herbs. They also mention the herbs here, and you'll see there's like a 60 to 80% uh, inhibition rate. But we've found that using combination of not just herbs, but biofilm disruptors, probiotics, we get a much higher success rate than the 60 to 80%. Same with the antifungals, it's listed what uh, herbs are beneficial for eliminating fungal infections for these particular funguses. And the other bacteria, so these Streptococcus E. coli, they're listed as non-pathogenic, but they're actually commensal bacteria. So they're supposed to be there, but not in these higher amounts. And especially combined with low levels of beneficial bacteria, this in itself can cause some digestion problems. The pathogenic bacteria listed, as well as the, the yeast Candida albicans is listed as non-pathogenic. But as we know, an overgrowth of Candida is what causes the problems. So we really should have a zero here. And here's the particular parasites and the levels of growth. So as you can see, the CDSA test is very detailed and it really helps to take out the guesswork when treating not just digestion, but health problems overall. And I find this test is one of the best places to start when you're looking at functional pathology testing. To organize a CDSA test, contact us at Planet Naturopath or email tests at planetnaturopath.com. The CDSA test can be done anywhere in Australia, North America, the US, Canada, the UK. Once you order, a test kit will be sent to you. And this will be done in the privacy of your own home. You just need a very small sample that then is then shipped back to the lab for analysis. It takes about two or three weeks to get the results back. And once we have the test results, we'll organize a Skype or a video consultation or if you're not tech savvy, we can always do a phone consultation to explain the results. You'll be given a written report and detailed instructions on how to optimize your results.